Hello and welcome to Flutter job sharing application with Firebase Firestore as backend. So in this course you will learn and develop fully functional LinkedIn and Fiverr clone app. This is our login page and if a user is new then the user has to go to the sign up page in, in order to create a brand new account. So let's just quickly create a new account. So I choose image from the gallery you can also capture with the phone camera and then you can crop the image according to your need. For example I can crop it like this okay and now you have to provide now here is the option you can invisible the password and you can make the password visible okay from here so let's just sign up after successful sign up you are redirected to the home screen or you can say the job screen where you can see different jobs from different companies for example Apple has posted this job then Microsoft Corporation company has posted this job and then Wits private, private limited company posted this job and so on you can see the jobs from different companies and also you can see the jobs from individuals as you can see here so just like in LinkedIn and in Fiverr or also in the Upwork you can uh, see the details of any job okay in our this application for example if I want to check the details of this job which is from Apple company okay then I will simply click on it and it will show me the details of this specific job from Apple uh, company okay and here is the company address and how much people has applied for architect engineer jobs you can see here okay that is 389 people applied for this job then we have the job description which you can see here they say that we need an architect engineer for our new office design and its construction and so on and then here it is showing that is this company Apple is recruiting actively so you can send your resume by clicking here on this button which is easy apply now here is the uploaded on and deadline date for this job okay which is architect engineer for Apple company so this specific job uh, uploading date and the deadline date is here you can see then here you can see these two buttons if I click here then it basically show you the comments that is these people have comment for this specific job okay on this specific job post these people has add some comments for example Peter Roberts, George Jones and this user okay you can read their comments now let's say if I want as a user to add a comment let's say I will say I love Apple company okay I also applied I also applied for this job so I will click on post your comment has been added and now if I show you then here you can see here is my name Mohammed Ali Zab. I love Apple I also applied for this job so I mean different user who care, who apply for different jobs they can also uh, start conversation in the comment section okay for each job for example for this job which is for the archi architect engineer from Apple company here is some conversation in the comment section from these different users which you can see here Similarly, you can see the jobs, different jobs from different companies. For example, from Microsoft, you can see here. And then let's check Charter Accounted, Wits Private Limited. Here you can see the total applicants and so on. You can also see different jobs from different individuals. So let's check this job, which is from individual whose name is Jordan. Jones here is you can see the address of Jordan Jones so Jordan Jones need a plumber okay here you can see the job description hello everyone I need a plumber for one week to do my new home plumbing task and you can read the description and you can see the uploading date and the deadline date for this job 
Similarly, there are some other jobs also from other individuals like this individual Peter Roberts need a driver for family and this person, this individual whose name is Alizef407. Let's check the details of this job, okay? This person or you can say this individual need a cook urgently and this individual name is Alizef407. Here is the job description, here is the applicants. Now what if I want to apply for this job need cook urgently which is posted by this job poster whose name is ALIZDB407. So I will simply click on this easy apply now button. Now before I click, no, please notice this number, okay? Applicant number are 26. Now when I apply by clicking on this button, then it will automatically get the job poster email, okay? That is to the job poster email, this email will be sent, okay? And from it automatically fetch my email also, which is this one. So here is the email uh, title. You can of course edit it. That is, I am a cook. Let's say any title you want for this email, okay? And here is the default uh, message which you want to send in an email. You can of course edit this, that is, Let's say I have attached my CV resume and how you can attach resume or your CV file you can simply click here on this icon okay and attach file. So let's say you can send any uh, file format let's say this is my resume so I will choose this one okay and then I will click send so sending message so the email has been sent successfully to the job poster which is this one and if i show you then now you can see the applicant number increase to 27 okay earlier it was 26 then this po job poster received an email which you can see here okay that is as you can see here to this is the job poster email the person who posted the job okay and this is my email from which i sent or you can say from which i applied so you can see here hello i have attached my resume i am a cook okay and here you can see the resume file or any file you want to attach okay similarly you can apply for any job you want as we have thousands or you can say millions of jobs okay here in the job screen or you can say to the home screen so let's say if someone want to search for specific job so what that person will do well here we have a filter okay as you can see here that is job category let's say if someone is a doctor then doctor will search for job related to doctors so the person will simply click on doctors and it will bring all the jobs which are for doctors which you can see here that is currently we have only one job which is MBBS doctor here you can see the job post uh, the job description and here is the job poster details and the applicants applied for this job then you can similarly search for anyone let's say for development and programming jobs okay currently there are two jobs for development and programming category which you can see here window desktop application developer flutter app developer and so on let's check for accounting then here you can see for the accounting and so on let's check for education and training then here you can see education and training also has one job so this is the filter feature which you will also learn in this course okay a professional filtering implementation then the next thing is you can also search specifically for a job from here okay that is when you click on this search button so here you can type the job that is let's say if you are a flutter developer then you will definitely search for flutter job so i simply write here flutter and here you can see flutter app developer so i will simply click on it and it will send me to the details of that job and i will simply apply from here by clicking on this easy apply now you can also search for that search for a job computer science here you can see computer science professor and also you can search for different companies okay that is let's say you want to search a specific company for which you want to work let's say I'm going to search for Apple so I want to check Apple profile which you can see here so you can also contact this Apple company 
using their email address or their phone number or here is the whatsapp and the email and the phone number if i click on the phone number then it will automatically dial their number which you can see here and then if you want to send email then we have this button and for whatsapp we have this one so in this way you can search for different companies also let's say microsoft so here you can see microsoft corporation and as you know that this is my account where i am currently logged in as this user okay this is the email address of this user mohammed ali zab so as a user as i told you as an individual you can also become a job poster let's say you need a plumber then you can simply click here on this add button and from here you will select the job category that is which job you are going to post that is for which category so let's say i need a cook so i will simply choose the cook category or you can choose any category you want so let's say currently i need a cook for my home so i choose the cooks category job category and then the job title that is let's say i will say cook for my home or so on okay you can just write any title you want that is let's say honest cook person and then of course the t job description need a cook for my home and family and so on you can write any description you want then the job job deadline date that is when you want the deadline for this job to be ended so let's say 14 and then i will click ok so here you can see 14 is selected so i will click on post now and this job has been uploaded so if i go to the home screen then here you will see that i have posted this job that is i need a honest cook person here you can see the details of this job which i just posted no person has yet applied as you know this is a new job which i just posted so this is the job description and the applicant number for this job is zero as no one has applied yet and then here you can see the uploading and deadline date as i have as this specific job post which is honest cook person as this belongs to me that is muhammad ali zab then here i also see the recruitment two buttons now if i show you the recruitment is on for this job okay so that's why i am I and also other people will visible they can see this job okay if I turn off the recruitment for this specific job let's say I'm going to off it okay I just turn it off and now if I go to the job screens then here you will see that that job no longer exists because I turn off the recruitment for that that is that job has been turned off that is no one is allowed now to apply for that job so this is all about all the features which we will implement in this course the next button we will have is basically the sign out so let's sign out from the app and we have also the forget password feature let's say you forget your password so you will simply click on this forget password all you need is you have to provide your email here so i will simply provide my email and then i will simply click on this reset now button the reset password link has been sent to my email address and if i show you my email then you will see it here you can see i have received this email okay reset your password for this project okay which is our i job linkedin and fiverr clone app as you can see here okay follow this link to you set your password for this account okay alizdb438 so i will click on this link in order to reset my password so here we go reset your password here we have to provide new password so let's say now my password is so this is now my password okay i have changed it i will click on save button in order to save my new password so you can now sign in with your new password so password change successfully 
Now I will go back to my app and now if I try to log in with my old password then I will not be allowed to log in. So okay, first of all I'm trying with my old password. So let's click on login and it shows this error. The password is invalid or the user does not have this password. Okay, So I have to provide my correct password which I just changed to so now if I logged in with my new password then I am logged in successfully as you can see here. So I hope you will love this course and yeah see you guys in the course.